And this week on Explained, I bring to you another law that the UAE has introduced to make the lives of expatriates better. As you would have already heard by now, expatriates, both men and women, are no longer going to be hampered by their job titles to sponsor dependents, thanks to the new family sponsorship policy. The decision was actually taken in March, but its implementation was only announced this week. So in March, the UAE cabinet issued a decision that removed the job title demand from workers sponsoring relatives, making the criteria based on income instead. Previously, a resident could only sponsor a family member if they met certain criteria, including a managerial title. But now, any man who earns, say, 4,000 dirhams or 3,000 dirhams plus accommodation can bring their family in, but a woman must earn about 10,000 at least to sponsor their children. So who are these dependents? Well, a spouse, sons under the age of 18 and unmarried daughters. How can you apply for this? You just need these documents. So first, a marriage contract authenticated and translated into Arabic. Second, birth certificates of children authenticated and translated into Arabic. Third, a recent proof of salary. And fourth, salary certificate for expatriates working at the public sector or the work contract with bank statement of at least three months for employees in the private sector. Now for women, you should get a written approval from the husband. A widow or a divorced woman can also sponsor the family. You just need to submit your spouse's death certificate or a divorce certificate. If that's the case, then you need to have documented proof of the child's custody. Well, this is great because expats are going to be happy having their family around and instead of sending money back home for their families, people are instead going to spend it here, which is great for the economy. So well, win-win. While we are discussing the new law amendments, there's one more news for tourists travelling to Dubai between July 15 and September 15. So tourists don't have to pay a visa fee for their children if they are under the age of 18, provided the child is accompanied by the parent. Great news, right? So this is obviously being done to push tourism during the summer months when the weather is, as you know, quite harsh, which is why people aren't too keen to travel. But there are a number of other incentives too, like cheaper flights, insane discounts at hotels, and now the visa waiver. So you'll find more reasons to come than not. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course, like, follow, share this video.